Look at what the scripture says. First Thessalonians 5. But at the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the how, in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. In other words, the brotherhood, those who are true brethren of Jesus Christ, we are not in darkness. Now let me go back to Genesis chapter 1. Uh, because the Bible says, and, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. So good always equals light. Darkness therefore represents evil. Okay, uh, the the prince of darkness, um, uh, the uh, the uh, the principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places, and so good equals light, and darkness equals evil. And Paul says here, "You're all children of the light." That means there is good in you, which is Jesus Christ. You're children of the light and children of the day. You know what that means? We don't. <laughs> We're not seventeen-year-old uh, teenage boys that sleep in until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay? We don't do that. Uh, we're children of the light and children of the day. That means our pineal gland is not working all that well. And we're awake. Uh, we are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. You don't need your pineal gland activated. You don't need a serpent calling up. Listen, a serpent calling up my spine just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, but let us, let us watch and be sober. Be aware of what's going on. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken, remember that vodka bottle? They that be drunken are drunken in the night. Jeremiah 51, 57. This is concerning Babylon. And I will make drunk her princes and her wise men and her captains and her rulers and her mighty men. And they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake, saith the king, and whose name, and whose name is the Lord of hosts. Now watch this. At some point, at some point, humanity is about to enter into a new age. They call it a new age of enlightenment. But what it is, it is a sleep that comes upon them by which they will never, ever awaken from. Never. They will never awaken from it. Uh, Jeremiah or Isaiah 5 verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Light for darkness. They're saying that the activation of the pineal gland and the melatonin that's in it will bring you an awakening. No, it won't. It'll put you to sleep. They say that it brings light. No, it doesn't. It, it loves and it craves darkness. In fact, it won't work very well in the light at all. People think about what's being told out there. Think about how the Bible has the answers for it. Woe to them that put darkness for light and light for darkness. So just just because just because they say on their website or in their statement of somehow or you hear in their sermon, oh we're here to bring everybody light. We're gonna bring you illumination. We're gonna bring you an awakening. No, they're gonna put every and see that's like obvious when you go into their churches and they they touch you on the forehead. You don't go, oh wow, I'm awake. What do these people do? See, sleep in the Bible is a picture of death. Oh, they're slain in the Spirit. In other words, they just activated something that put them to sleep. And remember what E.T. said. I'll be right here. Wow. Joel chapter 2. Remember Joel's army? Look what's associated with it. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of cloud. You know what? I'm going to stop right here. i got a thought here. And I, want you to, I want you to help me do some research now. I think light um, causes the pineal gland. Well, in fact, we know light causes the pineal gland to not work. But darkness activates it. Maybe help me do some research on how sound 
works with it too. Maybe maybe you know something out there. Anyway, um, a, a, the day of the Lord is not at hand. It's a, no, it's a, it's a day of darkness and gloominess. You, ever, you know, like on a cloudy, cold day, you know, all you feel like doing is what? Sleeping. You know why? Because your pineal gland's going, go to sleep, go to sleep, it's so dark outside. That's what's happening. It's a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. That's Joel's army that we talked about. There hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Now, Joel's army, in case you haven't heard this from us, Joel's army is not the super saints that are taking the world for Jesus Christ. That's not Joel's army. Joel's army, the description given to us in Joel and in other places matches perfectly with the description that John gave in Revelation chapter 9 concerning the scorpions that come out out of the pit. That's who they are. Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And they're even going to start mixing, probably already have mixing eschatology in with the coming of the Lord is going to bring light to this. But it's, uh uh-uh. God said, I'm going to cover the earth with a cloud. But those that, watch this now. Those of us who are saved, God said in Genesis 9, when I bring the cloud over, then look up in there. You're going to see the sign of my token, my, the token of my covenant with you. The rainbow. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's clothed with a cloud, by the way. All right. Zephaniah chapter 1. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet. An alarm against the fenced cities, against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men, and that they shall walk like blind men. Because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. You see, they're promising, they're promising, the New Age movement is promising that they're going to bring an age of enlightenment where we're going to see that God said, don't, don't be fooled by that because they call darkness light. So when they say light, it means darkness. When they say, we're going to bring sight to you, that, see, that means blindness. When they say, we're going to bring you an awakening, that, what that really means is they're going to put you to sleep. And you will sleep the sleep of death. That's what's going on. That's what your friends, family members, everybody that you know, that's what they're mingled into in these churches. That's why they... That, and by the way, the light shined into the darkness, the dark, darkness comprehended it not. They do not... The spirits... Now watch this. The spirits that are working now, the conspiracy, the spirits that are working now, that's why they had to eliminate... This this Bible, not uh, the other Bibles, they had to eliminate this Bible because this Bible is pure light. And the pineal gland hates the light. And it won't work as long as there's light. You think about what's going on. And God wants us to know these things. In these days... God wants us to know these things. Now that we know, let's help shine the light. Okay? Read your Bible. Live your Bible. Memorize your Bible. Use Bible in your talk with people. Hey, hey, you know, the Bible says such and such. I mean, just let that come out of you. Be a witness. Um, share our ministry with other people. If you like it, if you like what we say, share it with other people. Um, we're trying to tell the truth of what's going on in these last days. And I'm here to tell you, this Bible has all the answers. I appreciate the, the comments that people send to us, the emails, the phone calls, I mean, the, I, I, the gifts. I appreciate that. I, that. I just thank God for that. But seriously, if you like anything that we say, you tell God thank you. Because it's His Word that reveals it. I'm just the mouth. I'm the guy with the mouth. Alright? This is Pastor Mike, the guy with the mouth. And we'll see you the next time in the Watchman Pure Bible Study. God bless you. Bye-bye.